Doesn't carbon-14 dating disprove the Bible? Does radiocarbon disprove the Bible? Absolutely not. In fact, we're going to see that it's a great asset to us. But let's discuss what radiocarbon and dating is all about. It's otherwise known as carbon-14 dating, and it is based on the carbon-14 atom. Radiocarbon, most people think of carbon-14 or radiocarbon as being used to date rocks. Well, in fact, you can't date rocks with radiocarbon for two reasons. One, because most rocks don't contain carbon, but more importantly, radiocarbon decays very rapidly. To give you, uh, put it in perspective, radiocarbon de decays so quickly that if every atom of the Earth was radiocarbon, within just one million years, there'd be no radiocarbon atoms left. It would all have decayed away which is why geologists don't use radiocarbon to, say, date fossils, simply because the fossils, they believe, are millions of years old. And uh, I was involved in a research study recently where we took coal samples from coal that was 40 million years old, supposedly, down to coal that was supposedly 300 million years old. And we sent it to a major laboratory, a recognised university laboratory for radiocarbon and every one of those coal samples contained radiocarbon in it, detectable radiocarbon and we fully expected that they would contain radiocarbon because most of the world's major laboratories have already reported radiocarbon in coal, in limestone and fossils but they, they don't think about it in terms of an age, a true age for the rocks and it didn't matter whether the coal was supposedly 40 million years old or 300 million years old, it had the same amount of detectable radiocarbon in it and it gave a young age of only tens of thousands of years. Similarly, I've collected uh, shells in rocks that are supposed to be 150, 120 million years old in Northern California and they also give a radiocarbon age of tens of thousands of years. Now that makes sense because the coal was laid down during Noah's flood. It's plants that were fossilised in beds during the flood. So they all were fossilised, buried and fossilised in the same year-long event. So we'd expect them to give the same radiocarbon age. Of course, that radiocar those radiocarbon ages are based on the assumption that radiocarbon has always been produced in the atmosphere at the rate we find today. We know that the Earth's magnetic field was stronger in the past, which means that the radiocarbon production rate would have been slower in the past, which means that those dates are highly inflated. When we take into account what the radiocarbon was like at the time of the flood, those ages of tens of thousands years of years come down to about four to five thousand years. We even tested diamonds for radiocarbon and found that they did contain radiocarbon. Diamonds are found inside the earth at very great depths, and they are part of the initial makeup of the Earth. So these diamonds give a young radiocarbon age, which implies that the Earth is, is very young. So in fact, when we look at the real hard facts of radiocarbon dating and the results that we get, we find that radiocarbon actually agrees with the Bible, confirms what the Bible has already said about Earth history, that the Earth is young and that was a global catastrophic flood.